position now is, is far less, I would claim, beneficial to new writers. Uh, successive governments have, have failed to appreciate that, the, that our theatre is, is worth preserving and it, it's the, the funding has dried up. Uh, the problem with theatre people is they are, they are so ingenious and self-perpetuating that they, they actually work harder to fill the holes. That perhaps my, my, when I ran a theatre, my, my theory was that we should close them all and um, see what happened. Uh, and the cynic in me said nobody would notice, uh, <laughs> except for the hardcore theatre goers. But um, at best, at least we'd have shown that theatres these days um, are, held, are very hard put to do develop new work. It's expensive, uh, and uh, writers are not necessarily born overnight, as you'd appreciate. They they are they are playwrights particularly. It's a very technical skill, and it takes some years. I mean, it took me seven or eight years before I wrote a re reasonable looking play. Uh, um, and um, then I became an overnight success, as it were. Hey, the kids arrived, you know, and everybody said, well, so, so this is your first play? Yeah, my first one to be in the West End. Oh, well, well done. Uh, but it's not my first play. Uh, I've been practicing for a very long time, since I was 12. Uh, so, um, but that takes an investment, uh, which Stephen had the benefit of. I mean, the Arts Council paid you at that time. It didn't pay to do a classic. If you did a Marivaux or a, um, um, a, a, a Noel Coward, you didn't get the money. But if you did a new play by Mr. Whoever he was, uh, me, you'd get three golden hundred pounds uh, to spend on the play, to give the dramatist a bit of advance, um, and to put on a production, uh, all of which he was able to do with that money. Um, so it always paid him to do new work. Uh, uh, and so his passion was enforced by a government, uh, which, is, which is completely the reverse of now. Um, where a, a small company like ours uh, pr progressively came, became dependent on the established writers, which ironically included me, one of the ones that they'd, in, they'd encouraged. I was now the cash cow. Um, paying for new writers. Um, so it became a, a ridiculous sort of vicious circle. Um, but um, I, I notice a, that, that, that uh, the, the writers have withdrawn from the larger theatres and onto the fringe now, uh, where, where it, it's still possible to, uh, to uh, put a new play on. Uh, but the reason uh, um, dramatists have of getting, us, getting slightly fewer and further between, although there are some notable ones that have survived, because as I say, uh, theatre is a great survivor, <laughs> uh, is that uh, they, they've, um, they, they've managed by ingenuity, um, bludgeoning some firm into giving them money, uh, or just, just doing them on the cheap. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's much tougher. I would th say that, that that in my slightly biased viewpoint is 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 the change from from then to now. <laughs>